So we all have different goals and dreams for our running. For me, I want to run a sub three marathon. For you, it might be a sub 40 minute 10K, or it might be to finish your first 5K, anything in between. We are all so different in that respect. But when it comes to our running goals, there are some specifics that we can think about when it comes to setting goals and chasing down goals that will help us get there. Let's put two minutes on the clock and talk about it. Okay, so I wanna talk about three different types of goals. Let's talk about outcome goals, let's talk about performance goals, and let's talk about process goals. So with outcome goals, they are goals which we really focus a little bit more on the, well, as it sounds, outcome of an event, outcome of a race. So let's say it's a race where you want to, if you're a competitive runner, you want to finish top five, or perhaps you're saying, I want to finish top 20% of my age group, or you're saying, I want to beat Dave from work. Either way, it's a specific outcome that you focus on. The problem with outcome goals is that they're dependent on the other people around you, the people that you have no control over. That makes it very difficult to judge yourself based upon those outcome goals. Now, instead, if we focus on something a little bit more in our control, like a performance goal, then we can set specific goals based on something like finish time, for example, that we have a little bit more control over. And in fact, we can get more control around those by talking about process goals, but we'll get there in a second. With performance goals, finish time means that we can just block out those around us and focus on our own race and say, right, I want to finish this marathon in four hours. That is my very objective marker of whether I hit my goal or I don't. Doesn't matter if lots of fast runners turn up or whether you are one of the faster runners there on the day, doesn't matter at all because it's all about you. Now, in getting to those performance-based goals, it's all about those process-based goals, goals which really break it down step by step. And from a process-based goal point of view, this for me is absolutely golden when it, help, when it comes to helping runners actually get to their ultimate result because it allows you to focus on the steps, the building blocks that get you to the performance. So let's say things like pacing. If I want to run a sub 50 minute 10K, I know that from a performance point of view, the sub 50 minutes is the, the goal, but from a process point of view, I just need to break that 10K down into 1K blocks and say I run a five minute K again and again and again and again and again. That's my process. If let's say I'm running a marathon and I want to hit a specific finish time, I know what my average pace needs to be. So my process is pacing evenly across the marathon. Of course, within that process, we talk about things like nutrition, um, strategies and executing those. But again, it allows you to control the controllables. And if you control those controllables well, doesn't matter what's going on around you, you can still execute properly and go and hit that performance-based goal. So focus more on the processes to hit the performance and don't worry too much about the outcome relative to other people. I do hope you found that helpful. Bear those goals in mind, those different types of goal in mind when you set yourself up with your new training plan and get out there and get after it. If you're interested in checking out another video from me, click on the link over here. And if you found this useful today, don't forget to hit the like button and let me know in the comments what your running goals are at the moment. What are you chasing down? Speak to you soon.